Hey guys, today we're talking about solar power systems for your home. We're going to go in detail about the equipment that you need, the sizing, how to calculate the sizing, and exactly how to set it up based on your area. We're going to discuss the four different components to your system. We're going to discuss sizing your solar array, sizing your battery bank, sizing your charge controller, and sizing your power inverter. Let's get started with taking a look at the solar array. The solar array is basically the total number of watts of panels that you're going to have to set up for your system. The first thing you're going to want to factor is the daily hours of solar exposure within your area. Also the size of the battery bank that you're going to be using depending on the amount of watts applied on the AC side of your system. And then you'll be able to figure out the total number of watts of your solar array. To calculate the total solar array, you're going to take the size of your battery bank divided by hours of solar exposure in a day, and that's going to give you the total number of watts of panels that you'll need to complete your system. So when you're calculating the size of the battery that you're going to need, you're going to want to look at the total AC load applied, which is basically the total AC load of your electronics that you're going to be using. You're going to want to calculate the total time that you're going to run that per day. And you're also going to want to factor your backup, your days of autonomy, how many extra days you have. If your area is an area that has frequent days of cloudiness and less solar exposure, you're going to want to look at around a three to five day backup. If you're in an area like Arizona or Nevada, where days of sol less solar exposure are less frequent, you might want to just go with a one to two day backup. But that's always going to be factored based on your area. I put up the uh, basic calculation, figuring out what size battery bank you're going to need. So that's the total AC load applied times the hours per day times days of backup divided by the usable battery power. For example, with a lead acid battery, usually you're only able to use about 50% of the battery. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to multiply that by two when you're getting your amp hours of your battery bank so that you'll have enough power to operate the load applied for the amount of time that you're going to need it. Calculating the size of your charge controller is pretty simple. It's just the uh, total solar array. For example, if you have 600 watts as your total solar array, you're using a 12-volt battery. You're going to be looking at about a 50-amp charge controller. You want to give a little bit of a buffer on top of that. Maybe go with a 60-amp charge controller, so this way you'll have less uh, possibility of overheating or overburning out of the uh, charge controller if you're constantly using it at 50 amps. Calculating your power inverter size is pretty simple. You're going to take the AC load applied and uh, calculate it based on that. You're going to want to go about 15 to 20 percent on top of it. So basically add up all the watts that you're going to be using and add about 15 to 20 percent because uh, you want to have a little bit of a buffer so that you avoid overheating. So that's pretty much it guys. That's a basic look at a home solar system. Uh, we can go into a little bit more detail if you want to contact us at powerinverters.com. We'd be happy to help with your specific setup based on your area, what type of requirements you might need.